Hey dudes and dudettes, what's going on? Chris Super here, lovely to see you all again. I was studying some silos to solos and I noticed Josh Middleton does this kind of cool eight note shred pattern and I figured out a way to do it in a diatonic manner all the way across all six strings. So we're gonna have a look at a cheeky little lick in A minor using a Josh Middleton style thought pattern. Let's take a look. Alright, so the premise for this shred lick is that we're using eight notes per string and we're going to kind of uh, do a position shift each string as well, henceforth why we end up kind of working in this uh, diagonal fashion. So I'm going to do it in the key of A minor, I'm going to start from the A note on the sixth string, I'm going to play 5, 7, 8, then jump over to 10th fret, then from that point I'm going to go 8, 7, 8, 10, and that's going to be our first group of 8. Then I'm going to jump to the fifth string and I'm going to go like this. What I'm doing there is I'm playing 7, 8, 10, jumping across to 12, and then I'm going to play 12, 10, 8, 10, 12, and that's going to be my next group of 8. I'll play that slowly. So I sort of do three notes, a position shift, and then five notes, and that's going to keep happening throughout the whole uh, lick. So we'll go from the start. Then I go to the fourth string. This is pretty much exactly the same as what we had on the fourth string uh, shape and position wise. I'm just starting from nine of the of the fourth string instead of the fifth. So I'm gonna be playing nine, 10, 12, then 14, 12, 10, 12, 14. Hopefully that's all making sense. Then from that point, so this is all using full tone shapes whole tone shapes if you want to think of it that way. I'm going to be playing 10, 12, 14 on the third string, and then I'm going to be playing 16, 14, 12, 14, 16 on the third. That's going to sound like this. Hopefully that's making sense. We'll take it from the start. Then from that point, I'm going to jump to the second string. I'm going to have this shape. Starting from 13 of the second string, I'm going to play 13, 15, 17. Jump across to 18th fret. That's going 18, 17, 15, 17, 18 again. All together. We've got one more string and then we'll put it all together. I go to the first string now and then I'm going to be playing 15, 17, 19. Then from that point, I'm going to be playing 20, 19, 17, 19, 20. Then to finish it off in a sexy manner, I added a sexy bend from that D up to the E. So I was going from 22 on the first string. Nice and slow there. And that is the whole thing. Let's try and do that again at a gentleman's pace and then we'll do it again even slower with some tabs. One more time with some tabs. And that was my Josh Middleton Shredlick. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And if you want to, join up to the mailing list to learn all things going on with Chris, special deals, all that other kind of cool, crazy stuff. If you want tabs to this lesson and anything else I do, please click the links to the description box and join up with my Patreon. Also wanted to plug my three most recent books. I've got Shred Guitar, Improvisation, if you want to understand chord changes, sequencing, and all that other cool stuff. I have my second book, Rock Guitar Mode Mastery, if you want to up your understanding of how to use the seven modes in a composition and improvised setting. And of course, my first book, Ultimate Shred Machine, if you want to up your chops in shredding, sweeping, legato, and ta tapping. And if you're not much of a reader, all three of those books are available in a video course on Udemy and my website as well. So you can check those out. Hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. I'll catch you all very soon.